This video will show how to add and update your library's information, including your email, phone, address, and hours of operation in Sitka's Evergreen. In Evergreen, go to Administration, Server Administration, Organizational Units. You must be signed in as a local system administrator. Find your library in the tree. If you are a multi-branch library, you will need to fill in the information for each of your branches. On the main settings tab, enter or update your library's main phone number and email address. Click Save. This information will display on your public catalog and may be printed on your receipts, such as your checkout receipt, as well as being included in emails Evergreen sends to your patrons. On the Addresses tab, enter or update your physical, holds, mailing, and ILL addresses. Evergreen will use different addresses for different functions, so ensure you have all four addresses set up, even if all four are the same actual address. The value for state must be your two-character Canada Post abbreviation for your province. Click Save on each address tab that you edit. This information will display on your public catalog and may be printed on your receipts, such as your checkout receipt, as well as being included in emails Evergreen sends to your patrons. On the Hours of Operation tab, update the hours to match your library's open hours. If you're closed on a particular day of the week, click the Close button for that day. Click the Edit Note Field checkbox to add a note to a particular day of the week. If your library has split hours, this is useful to note when the library is closed within the stated hours. Click Apply Changes. It is important to ensure that the hours of operation are kept up to date. The hours of operation will display on your public catalog. Evergreen also uses the hours of operation when determining due dates. If you're closed on Sundays, make sure Sunday is marked as closed so Evergreen knows not to make items due on a Sunday. Irregular closures such as for statutory holidays are entered via the Close Dates editor. Please see our Sitka snippet video setting close dates for more information on entering irregular closures. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.